The Walking Dead, number 11. Dead ones? What do you mean, dead ones? You know, the dead ones. All the people up and walking around after they shouldn't be the ones that are causing all the trouble. You're keeping those things in your barn, on your property, right next to where you sleep? Yeah, we're keeping them in the barn to figure out a way to help them. What have you been doing with them? What do you think we've been doing? What do you think we've been doing with them? You said yourself they should be dead. Shooting them in the head, that fixes that. We've been killing them. You've just killing them? Just been killing them. We're putting them out of their misery. Keeping them from killing us. Those things aren't human, they're undead monsters. They're trying to eat us for God's sake. You don't know why. You don't even know what's wrong with them. Nobody does. We don't even know a damn thing about what happened or what's going on. I know things are trying to kill us. Uh, the less of them there are out there, the safer we'll be. And I know it's not smart to have a mess of them pinned up not 30 feet from your goddamn house. You go in there at that barn right now and shoot them in the head. Every, god, every goddamn one of them. It's not safe for them to be here. We need to kill them before they kill us. My son's in there, goddammit! Your son? Sean was bitten. And it was before we put up the barrier around the house. I, I couldn't help him. He died after a couple days and turned into one of them. I didn't know what else to do, so I kept Sean in the barn. He tried to attack us to kill us, but I couldn't kill him. I couldn't bring myself to do that. When we found others, we just kept them too. Herschel. Herschel, I'm, I'm really sorry. I truly am. I can't imagine what you've been going through. If I had lost Carl, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I would have done. I don't think I could have lived with my son, but you've got to listen to me, Herschel. That thing in the barn, not your son. Get your fucking hand off me! Not my son! What made you such a goddamn expert? I don't know about you, but the zombies around here don't come with a fucking instruction manual. We don't know a goddamn thing about them. We don't know what they're thinking and what they're feeling. We don't know if it's, if it's a disease or a side effect or some kind of chemical warfare. We don't know shit. For all we know, these things are going to wake up tomorrow, heal up, and completely normal again. We just don't know. They could have been murdering all those people and put you put out of your misery. You're dead before they got back up, before they eat, try to eat you, they die. You said you saw your son die. He's dead. Those things are rotting corpses with pieces missing. Not sick people, they dead. Rick, listen. These things could be in very early stages of recovery. They could be healing. And that's why, why things aren't working right. It's, it's completely unknown to us. We got to clean. No clue how to handle this. I don't want to have blood on my hands. If we find out these people are alive, no, they're dead. I've seen those things with their damn guts hanging out. What you're saying just make, make a damn bit of sense. Rick, we're guests here, man. We aren't making the rules. Just stop this. You're right, Tyrese. How many do you have in there? Fourteen. We had to raid nearby houses for supplies, blankets, kerosene, and what and, and whatnot. All our neighbors have turned. Mostly them and their kids and a couple who had wired into the property. They can get out of the barn. We've got them locked up tightly. We're completely safe here. You don't have to worry. You say so. I'm trusting you on this one. I hope you're right. Nighttime. Alan, are you doing okay? I don't know, Rick. It's been a while since I've had a frame of reference for okay. How long have you been playing a thing out here? It's pretty cold. Just get sleeping there, you know? I sit and think about how we both used to sleep in the area in front of the couch and how she's not there anymore. I can't sleep. Stop thinking about her. Let's not I swear her daughter talked to me. I was lying there trying to sleep and she kept saying, Take care of my boys. It was clear as day. It was like she was sitting right next to me. I think I'm losing my mind. Get through this, man. Don't worry. I don't know, man. Sometimes I think about how much I want to die and it scares me. I love my boys. No, they need me, but sometimes I just think it'd be easier, you know? You got to pull it together, Alan. You got, to, you got every right to be sad. Make no mistake about it, but you got to be there for your sons. They need you. You don't. Uh, oh, hey, guys. I couldn't sleep. I'm coming out to get some air. Don't worry, Rick. I won't wander off too far. Careful, Glenn. It's pretty dark out tonight. I know what you're saying, Rick. It's just hard. Everything's so damn hard. Of course, Glenn is... 
Goes out and sees Maggie instead. I know Alan, nothing's easy anymore. Nothing. The next day, Herschel is feeding his pigs. Morning, Herschel. Oh, hey, good morning yourself. Did your crew sleep okay last night? Yeah, they had a little extra room in the RV since Lori and I stayed with Carl in your house last night. They got as much sleep as ever. I don't mean we don't get much sleep anymore, anymore any of us. I know what you mean. I haven't had a good night's sleep in quite some time. Can't imagine how you people made out at that camp of yours. I feel insecure enough sleeping in my house. Listen, man, I don't want to apologize for last night. I really didn't mean to jump your shit like that. It's been a little on the edge since Carl got shot and all this way out of the line. I understand. We're all a little on edge. It's only natural. I don't take that things. Still, I just wanted to let you know that I do really do appreciate all you've done for Carl and you allow him to stay here. Don't mention it. I'm just doing what I can to help my fellow man. Well, anyway, I want to give you and my family some of the guns we raised at the gun store while we were in Atlanta. We got a lot of them. We got some extras we could spare. Three pistols and a rifle. We figured you could use them. We got bullets too, but not too many. Well, thanks, Rick. I hope we don't get a lot of use out of them, but I'm sure they'll come in handy if we need them. I'm going to be doing some target shooting to some of the people, the kids mostly. We were welcome to tag along. I'll be teaching basic gun safety as well. The last thing we need are untrained people carrying around guns and all of the other dangers out here. Should I expect you? Well, Lacey Arnold, and I guess Mag would probably be up for that. I wouldn't want the others involved. They're just too young to be carrying firearms. Your son Carl seems to be fine with his, but my kids don't grow up around them like I assume he did. I understand. I'll round up everyone this afternoon. You might want to ask Patricia, Otis's girl, if she wants to come. I know it'd make her feel a lot safer if she didn't have to rely on Otis for protection. Right. <laughs> Inside the house. Hey, Alan. Can you take a hit? I have nothing to say to you. You want to run your mouth and give people advice on things you obviously don't know shit about? Go to it somewhere else. Now hold on just a damn... I'm sorry, Alan. I didn't mean to piss you off. No, Dale. It's okay. Let it go. Could've fooled me. Sophia's in there talking to Carl again. I swear, a few more years and we're gonna have to keep an eye on those two. They're getting along a little too well from their age. Hey, where'd you get that? Oh, the fuck? Herschel's oldest daughter Lacey has quite the collection. I didn't realize how much I missed reading. It's funny we don't really realize the things we're missing. Speak for yourself. I'd kill for a Vikings game. I've been thinking about that nonstop for weeks. I hear ya. I love to know how the Rares are doing. If there's any team that could rob this, it's them. Hey, listen, Chris and Julie are going to be shooting with us later today, right? Are they going to be carrying the guns at all times? I don't know, man. I want them to be safe and feel safe, but I don't think they're ready to have guns on them at all times. Maybe after a few practice sessions, once I think they got a good handle on things, I'm not even sure I'll be comfortable with it then. Teenagers, I don't know what's going through their heads. Reading, reading you loud and clear. See what we've got to look forward to, Carol? Not me. I talked to her Sophia, and she's skipping right over to her early 20s. At the shooting practice. You about ready? I'm giving you guns, some low caliber guns, so that'll be a little easier to handle. Let's do it. Yeah, this will be fun. This is a game, Julie. This is serious stuff. You listen to Rick and do everything he says. She knows, man. We don't have to worry. We're taking this seriously. Good to know. Thanks, Chris. Nice one, man. Thanks. My teacher deserves all the credit. Whoa, whoa. Stop shooting. Stop right now. What's the problem, Herschel? The Thompson's house is just on the other side of that tree line. Probably are. You bullets are probably ripping through their house. You can't keep firing in that direction. Gee, sorry about that. I had no idea the Thompsons, huh? They, uh, are they in your barn? That's not the point. I don't want their house to be destroyed. You just can't. That's not what I meant. I didn't. What, what's going on? <laughs> oh, damn. I think you can get from here. No! I can't let you shoot him. There's only one. He'll be easy to get into the barn. Jesus. Careful, man. I don't need to tell you how dangerous a bot from one of these suckers is. <laughs> I've done this a few times before. You know they're really, only really dangerous when there's more than one. Go over there and get his attention. Over here, ugly. Got you. 
like you got your own little system. Herschel has it by the head. Piece of cake. Lacey Earl, I'm gonna need you help getting him in the barn. <laughs> Herschel leads it to the barn and opens the door. Go around back and distract the others while I throw this one in. <coughs> the door opens, a walker falls off, and Herschel drops the one walker he was holding. Oh shit, Herschel! Dad! Uh, I'm coming, Dad! Arnold jumps from the rafters. <coughs> oh god, please, no! Arnold tackles the walker. That was about to attack his dad. Laura, make sure all the kids are in the house and keep them s there. Stay inside. No, not my father. To Chris, Julie, into the house floor. Not my father. Zombies reaching for Arnold and bites him. Ooh. Arnold! Sean, no, please, son. He's your brother. Don't do this. You gotta remember. Daddy! Maggie, stop! No! The walkers devour Lacey as Rick tries to sh 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 shoots at them. Ah! Gun. Daddy! Daddy! Arsenal gets a shotgun. And starts shooting the walkers. I'm sorry, Sean. I'm sorry, Arnold. I'm sorry. Herschel points the gun to his head. I'm sorry. Herschel, no! I'm so sorry. The whole group is standing by three graves. There's a fire burning walkers in the background. You were right. Later that day, night on the porch. Yeah, Mr. Grimes never took out our guns before after target practice. I don't want you to get mad at us for still having them later, so we're giving them to you. Rick's had a lot on his hands today, Julie. I'll just... You know what? Hold on to them. You'll be safer with them. I just don't want you to see them out unless it's emergency. Keep them holstered at all times. Okay. Finally, I thought that Bash would never let us have guns. It's gonna be so much easier now. Yes, we'll do it as soon as the time is right. I love you, Chris. I love you too. Let me kiss. That was the end of Walking Dead, issue number 11.